is from the parish just next to St. Anne. Trelawney. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, just dropping my, 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 my Jamaican ge you know, geography to, you know, that's what's going on. As a matter of fact, I have to slow it down because I've been here so long, I'm saying geography. Right. I want to say the Jamaican way. Right. Geography. Yeah, man. Geography, man. <laughs> you know, man. It's straight. <laughs> it's your podcast, Gore Rosenberg, Don Reed. Let's slice into this. Growing up in Claremont. So, yeah. the makeup of the family. Because what we're going to do is we're going to dissect this and come right. to right now. By all means. So, let's go away. Right. Growing up in Claremont. What was the family makeup like? All right, well, that's a question that, I mean, when you ask me, then, boy, you know, that's where the intrigue about me, because I didn't grow up with any blood relatives. My mom gave me away at two years old, and I've never, I've, I never saw her again until 24 years old. She gave me to a total stranger. When I was growing up, I didn't, I didn't know an aunt, I didn't know, I've never seen my father, I heard he died from 2001. I didn't know any brother, I didn't know any sister, no aunt, no cousin, no grandma, no one at all. I grew up with a toad, an old lady who died when I was 17. So I've been on my own since 17. Wow. She had a daughter next to her that was well off, but they didn't accept me as far as her, her daughter didn't really accept me in the, in the family because I was this poor little boy, malnourished little boy that, this, that their, their, their grandma took, took in. Retrospectively, do you know why, or have you been told why your mom gave you up? No, up to this day, when when I when she presented herself at age 24, this time I was a senior loan officer with the, with the bank, and she just said to me, I'm your mom, and her father, who was my grandfather, died, who I didn't know, she wanted me to come to the funeral and to do a eulogy. And I said, no, you must be crazy. Yeah, okay, I can't go to a funeral, I don't know this man. It turned out that I went to the funeral, because that's the type of first time. I don't hold grudges. You know, I went to the funeral anyway, and that's the first time I was seeing brothers and sisters and aunts and stuff. And then I lost touch with them again after that. But then a couple of years after that, I went out of my way to find where my mom lived. And up to when she was buried four years ago, I had spoken to her less than 10 times. But I went to see her, you know, just to kind of get closure, kind of piece the, put the pieces together. Right. The only thing she said to me, you know, as an explanation is that she didn't have any bus fear to come and look for me. <laughs> and that's it. The bus fear. <laughs> yeah, in 20, 20 years. Wow. 